Hello everybody and welcome back to another reading vlog, a very exciting reading vlog that I have been looking forward to for months now. And this is our travel vlog to DC and to Mexico. Not only have I been so excited to get away from winter and I love traveling at this time of the year at February when I'm like over it and just want to be somewhere warm and nice, but I am also very excited for the reading plans that I have been kind of thinking about um, for a long time. So with that, let's chat about the plans for this very exciting travel week. So last year and I, Tyler went to Mexico as well, and I ended up reading The Maid by Nina Prose during that trip, and I really, really enjoyed it. That whole vlog is up on my channel, and I will link it somewhere if you guys want to check it out. Um, and I actually really liked the idea of reading a mystery in a resort. I thought that was so fun. And so I was kind of looking for a good book that would be a cozy, good beach read, but a mystery. And earlier this year, I read the first book of a series, and I just knew that I was going to bring second book and third book to vacation with me. And that, of course, is um, the Gamache series by Louise Penny. So I read Still Life earlier this year, gave it five stars. I did not vlog my experience reading that one, but it is in my January wrap up, which I will link above if you guys want to check out my thoughts of that one. Um, but these are the second books in this very highly anticipated um, loved series by me. Uh, and basically the general vibe of this series is that it takes place in a small town in Quebec called Three Pines and it's very cozy, but lots of murders happen there. And our lead detective, Detective Gamache um, from the Sorte de Quebec, is called upon to solve these mysteries. Um, it does follow some recurring characters, so I think you could start anywhere in the series, but I do feel like starting at the beginning um, kind of makes it fun. Like you start to see characters build over different books and um, get to know the people of the town a little bit better. Book two in the series is A Fatal Grace, and book three is The Cruelest Month. So let me tell you a little bit about these. Um, so A Fatal Grace says, no one likes Cece de Poitiers, not her family, not her lover, and not her neighbors in Three Pines. Still, when Chief Inspector Armand Gamache is called to investigate Cece's sudden death on the day after Christmas, it seems like an impossible murder. How could she have been electrocuted in the midst of a curling match in Three Pines and without anyone seeing a thing? So that is this one. And then the second one is The Cruelest Month. And... This says, welcome to Three Pines, where the cruelest month is about to deliver on its threat. It's spring in the tiny forgotten village, buds are on the trees, and the first flowers are struggling through the newly thawed earth. However, not everything is meant to return to life. When some villagers decide to celebrate Easter with a seance at the old Hadley house, one of their party dies in fright. Was this a natural death or was it a murder? Brilliant, compassionate Chief Inspector Armand Gamache is called to investigate. And so it goes on. Um, so I think that these sound great for this time of the year, sound great for beach reads, and I'm just so excited to bring these on our vacation. So just a little bit more about our trip. So we are going to a wedding in DC, and I will have like one afternoon to sightsee, but we'll just be there very briefly. And then we are gonna be going to an all-inclusive resort with many members of Tyler's family. Um, and we are just so excited to enjoy the beach, enjoy some 80 degree weather, um, and just have a really relaxed time. Um, with that, as usual, I have planned all of my reading plans for the trip, but I have planned none of my clothes or done any laundry. So I'm gonna get to getting everything packed and getting everything ready for our very early morning of travel tomorrow. And while we cannot bring this little guy with us, he will have a very beloved friend of mine who will be taking care of him. And I'm so excited to see him when we get back, of course. Um, but he's like a little solo guy. He enjoys spending time by himself, so. With that, welcome to the vlog and let's get packing for the trip.
we have made it to DC, no flight delays despite the weather. Um, and we just checked into our hotel, which is super, super nice. So I thought I would show you around and then we're gonna walk around the city a little bit. We did get a gorgeous view of the city coming in and it seems like it's gonna be a really nice day like in the 70s. So um, we're excited to get out of the hotel after a busy morning of traveling and just enjoy. Uh, so let me show you our little room. Uh, and then there's this cute little picture over here of an old photo. I haven't figured out what the photo is of. But anyways, super nice. We are all checked in and ready to enjoy. morning guys it is day two here in dc and it's another gorgeous day it's supposed to be in the 60s today um and since me and one of my other good friends who's here at the wedding are not in like the bride or groom's party we have an open day to just enjoy the city so we were talking a lot yesterday about what we wanted to do and i think we might go to one of the museums or go shopping we're definitely going to get lunch um so it should be just a really nice day walking around um, I have not had a huge chance to read yet because I feel like our schedule has been pretty jam-packed and I've just been wanting to enjoy the city. But with the flight to Mexico tomorrow, probably we'll have a bit more time as we get to the all-inclusive and have more downtime. It's gonna be a packed day today with the wedding and with sightseeing and then tomorrow very early we are headed to Mexico, which I am so very excited about. But anyways, I think she's waiting for me downstairs. So I'm gonna head out and enjoy another day in DC. Officially the end of our first full day here in Cancun but our second day here and we flew in yesterday um, we did get to do a little bit of stuff yesterday but today was the main day where we kind of spent the whole day at the beach and I wanted to start by showing you guys our gorgeous view from our window um, so the Sun has just set and I think they're getting some stuff ready for like evening activities but um, we have the beach view and it's just so so pretty waking up to this every day but anyways, I have got to get quite a bit of reading done for A Fatal Grace, and it was actually a funny coincidence that I asked my mom, I messaged her yesterday what she was reading, and she just told me that she had picked up A Fatal Grace, um, and she read Still Life after I read it last month and loved it. So it's been fun kind of hearing her thoughts about it. She has actually finished the book, and I certainly have not. I'm only on page 100, but we, I love experiencing this series with her. Uh, so anyways, A Fatal Grace takes place around Christmas time in Three Pines and it follows a really different plot line from we were following in the previous story. So um, in this plot line, we are following the murder of someone who was really unliked by all the people in this very close-knit community in Three Pines. In Still Life, we followed Jane, who was kind of an integral member that everybody loved and everyone kind of rallied behind. The person who is murdered in this book is Cissé Dupont. 
Cece de Poitier, and she is kind of a failed businesswoman of sorts who people just don't like because honestly, she's not very nice. So at the beginning, um, people aren't really sad that she's gone and Gamache is kind of brought into the case and starts looking into what enemies she might've had or um, why she might've been murdered. Uh, so her murder, what happened at a curling match right around Christmas time when she was there with her family and she was actually electrocuted during the curling match, which was a very interesting way for her to have died. And Gamache is really looking into the method and also, of course, the many suspects as she is not a very likable lady. So again, only on page 100, but so far I'm really, really enjoying it. Similar to still life, I just feel transported and very cozy in the Three Pines dynamic and it's just so much fun to read about. But anyways, Tyler's family just got here, so we are going to go to a welcome dinner and kind of enjoy the rest of the evening, getting to see how everybody is doing. And I will catch up with you guys in a little bit. officially back from Mexico and the end of our trip took a little bit of an unexpected and not wanted turn in that Tyler ended up getting food poisoning and so at 3 a.m. the night we were supposed to like like the night before we were getting our flight in the morning he wakes up and is vomiting everywhere <laughs> So anyways, we had to do our whole trip just kind of not feeling super great. Um, him much worse than me, like going through customs, going through security, being long lines. It was just not the vibe. But we made it home and overall we did have such a lovely trip. Um, I think my favorite memories were like reading by the pool. We went on a gorgeous um, Mex Mexican catamaran um, with Tyler's family. Uh, we went snorkeling and I got to see a barracuda and a stingray. Uh, and it was just, it was so wonderful to just get out of cold Cleveland for a while and enjoy Mexico. And I think I might've gotten a little bit of a tan too. So overall, a great trip, although the last day we could have done without. Um, I ended up finishing A Fatal Grace um, while we were kind of recovering from food poisoning yesterday uh, on the couch. And I am not going to be able to get to the cruelest month in this vlog just because I want to get this up on time, but I have started it. And so it will be in probably my March wrap up or my February wrap up, depending on how quickly I read it. But I ended up giving A Fatal Grace um, 3.5 stars. This was a little bit of a letdown from um, Still Life, which I absolutely loved. I felt like this book was trying to do a lot. It was um, trying to bring together a lot of threads and placing a lot of clues in the mystery that were quite out there and quite contrived. And, and it was really hard for the author to kind of make everything come together. It wasn't that it was bad, but it just, it wasn't still life. There was just too much happening at the end and too many pieces coming together. But I've already bought books three, four, and five, and am definitely continuing on with the series. So while book two was not my favorite, and while I think that this could have done with some editing and not having quite as many plot conveniences as it had, I did really enjoy it, and it was a great beach vacation read. So with that, that is going to be it for my Mexico slash DC travel vlog while reading Louise Penny on the Beach. It was a great vibe altogether. Even if the book wasn't quite what I wanted it to be, I did really enjoy it. And let me know if you guys are reading the Louise Penny series, if you have read them, which is your favorite. I would love to know and what you thought of Fatal Grace. And I will see you guys very soon with another video. Bye.